What's up, y'all? It's your girl, T, coming at you guys with just a really quick video. With a really quick video, notice that I'm so low, so low. Just kidding. So, I just tried, decided to do a quick video because I feel like I need to moisturize my hair. So, I decided to take you guys on that journey with me. So, as you can see, let me undo my ponytail holder here. My hair is rough. My hair is rough. My hair is pretty rough. Um, so let me take you guys just on the console. As you know, I got my hair done in 2011, August 16th to be exact, 2011. So I am now seven years in the drag game. So now I am going to go ahead and moisturize this stuff. I haven't I've been falling off my moisture game, which is really bad because I just recently got a few of my dreads dyed. I don't know if you can see. I got a couple of red ones there, and I did go through the process of actually having these few bleached and then dyed. So there probably is some dryness going on. I'm not going to wash my hair. Um, the 15th was the last time my hair was actually washed. I am just going to do kind of a wet hair conditioner, you know, kind of get down. So I'm just going to show you guys what it is that I will do. So first, you need to wet your hair. Like, get your hair nice and good and wet. So, now that you saturated your hair, and it took me a little while to get my hair wet. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but sometimes it takes me a couple of strokes of water to actually get my hair wet. I have this conditioner that I stole from my sister. It's not even an actual conditioner. It's like a cleansing conditioner, so it's kind of like soap, um, but conditioner nonetheless. Um, well, obviously, I should have sectioned my hair. So just ignore that last part you just saw. So I'm going to go ahead and section my hair um, into four sections. So I'm only two hand twisting my dreads first or locks, whatever you prefer to call them, um, prior to moisturizing them because I want these to be out of my way. And... So that is good enough. This one, since it's in the front, I'm just gonna make it a little bally. Uh, just keep circling. So, dread confession while I'm doing this. Um, my biggest dread fear is like losing a whole dread um, or something of the sort like that. But let me know, what is your dread fear? Do you have any lock fears? One of my other lock fears is, and I'm just, and again, I'm just putting a little conditioner on my hand, and I'm just li really trying to saturate my locks in the conditioner, because we're gonna, like I said, we're in a deep condition. So we want this to be saturated for a little while. And I'm just parting, parting the sections and lathering it up. My biggest dread fears is like <sighs> my dress get really long you know and they're flourishing all that good stuff all down my back and my dreads are just really you know long and wonderful but then when you look in my roots it looks like I barely have any hair one thing that like that I go through with my dreads locks whatever you like to call them some people don't like to call them dreads because they're not dreadful whatever but one of my biggest lock thing like battles is enough like i don't want to be a mop head but at the same time i just want more dreads sometimes i don't feel like i have enough locks you know like i'm really big on spaces i don't want to have a lot of spaces in my hair you know, I want my locks to look full. And that's like one of the biggest, 
like one of those things that I'm really going through as far as locks. Anyways, um, I stopped interlocking my hair like maybe a year and a half ago and I went to the twisting method um, for two reasons. Two reasons why I did it. The first reason is because I wanted my locks to look a little fuller. Um, like I was saying earlier, one of my lock battles is the fullness. So I wanted my locks to look a little fuller. I started noticing that my locks were really thin in certain places. So like there's certain places of my actual locks where they're thick in some areas and then they get really, really thin. And that's, that's not good. I don't really like that. That's one reason why I went to twisting. And then also too, because I have a lot of um, locks that have thin roots and I don't want my locks to fall out, dread fear number two, I don't want to lose locks, so I, I just switched to the method just so that I can see kind of what the progress would be, how my locks will become a little thicker and maybe look a little fuller on my head, and a lot of people say it's in my mind, but you know, whatever, you're your biggest critic. So anyways, as you can see, I just saturated my hair with the conditioner conditioner in my mouth as you can see i just saturated my hair with the conditioner i'm gonna put it in these little ballies as you can see i'm gonna continue on and do the rest of my hair and then one and then i'm gonna come back once i rinse all of the conditioner out so that you can see how i continue my moisture method this is just step one ladies and gentlemen step one to my moisture method again i'm not washing my hair i'm just moisturizing my hair um until just to kind of sustain me until i get my locks re -hit. Okay, <clears throat> so, <sighs> okay, so as you can see, I am all shower fresh and I am ready to go to bed. My hair is all rinsed out, as you can see from the conditioner. It is all rinsed out, it is all clean, no more whiteness. I left that conditioner in my hair for about an hour and a half. Um, got caught up watching Animal Planet with my mom. As you can see there are, I mean, I have a little bit of, you might be able to see some particles in my hair. Cause again, I didn't wash my hair. I only put that conditioner on it and that was actually a cleansing conditioner. So it actually washed my hair or it actually cleaned my hair more than I was expecting it to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to part my hair in four sections again like I did last time. Beady boom bow. Hair. Boom. Sectioned. Four sections. So I'm going to use, and if you watched our hair video, you know kind of what I moisturize with. So I'm going to go for the Cantu leave-in conditioner today and I am going to hit my hair with the black castor oil tea tree um, This is Jamaican mango lime brand and I'm gonna use that. So I'm first going in with the Cantu and usually I Moisturize my hair with a leave-in <clears throat> Excuse me at night before I go to bed and then I come with the oil in the morning. Why do I do that? Because um, I don't want my hair, I like for my hair to dry with the leave-in conditioner. And this can too, is really, it stays white. It stays white for a while. So I actually like it to dry on the hair and then come back with the oil to make it nice and shiny. I don't want to over condition my locks because I feel like with the crochet method, especially at the beginning, when I do put a lot of conditioner on my hair, um, I feel like my locks start to unravel at the tips, at the end. So, because I do want to make sure my hair is getting moisturized, I am going to now put some Cantu on both of my hands and I'm going to strum it through so we can make sure we're getting from root to tip. Now, this may seem like a lot of product and I mean, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Again, this is what works for me and my hair. If you maybe use a lot of products or don't use a lot of products or have a reason why you shouldn't use a lot of products, put the information in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are or what your ideas are about products and the amount of products that I'm using or the amount of products that you yourself use. I actually want to, especially with these dreads up front, um, let me start from the back. I'm going to take 
two dreads. Uh, this is three. I'm actually going to take my dreads. And I'm going to two-hand twist them. I usually don't do this. Um, I usually don't do this when I condition my hair. But since my hair is so old, I'm going to try this out. And then I'm going to see kind of what that hit for uh, tomorrow when I wake up. What I was going to do is I was going to go through, like I said to you guys earlier, and put all my hair in these little two-hand, two-strand twists or whatever and kind of just rock that for the next couple of days. But two things. First of all, that takes way too long to go through all my whole hair and put it in these little two-hand strand, two-strand twists. For one. Second, um, it looks stupid. I've decided that that looks pretty dumb. So I'm going to not do that. And I'm going to take all these little stupid two strand twists out of my damn hair and just moisturize my hair the way I was going to to begin with. Stay tuned. Now I'm going to the back of my hair. Again, I wasted so much time with those two strand dumb little twists. So now I'm going to just moisturize the back of my hair. This is my little, this is my little created dread right here. Gotta make sure that one gets some love. Last but not least, piece number four. Again, if it looks like a lot of conditioner, that is because it actually is. Like I said, everybody's hair is different. So everybody's hair is gonna more absorb moisture differently. My hair gets super duper duper dry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my oil, with my black, um, with my black castor oil. And if you can, just kind of look and see how thick, I don't know if you can see it, but see how thick this oil is? It's super duper dense. I'm going to rub it in my hands like so, see how oily it is on my hands. And I'm just going to strum it through my hair. I am just going to strum it through my hair. Okay. I'm going to part my hair. This is the important part. So I'm going to part my hair a little bit. I'm just going to turn the bottle up with my finger. I'm going to turn the bottle up like so with my finger bow, get a little oil on it, and then that is when I'm going to actually go through and rub on my scalp. So, I'm gonna, this time I'm going to be very kind of specific about my parts because I do want to get the black castor oil on my actual scalp. So, the first level would be put it on your hands, strum it through your hair, level number two. It's going to actually be kind of like greasing, or for lack of a better word, oiling my scalp. Kind of the way we used to do um, back in the day when we were young. And don't be afraid to use a good amount of this oil. Because this is what's going to sustain your hair's moisture throughout the week. Okay, so I conditioned I rinse as you can see it's way more conditioner on this side of my hair than this side but whatever I conditioned I rinsed it out I deep conditioned with the Cantu conditioner and then I oiled with the black Jamaican mango or with the mango Jamaican mango line black castor oil then I just put my hair in two braids I'm probably going to clip the braids up to the back like slow and just put a headscarf over this stuff 
and just let it dry. I'll probably keep the headscarf off for a few minutes while I let my hair actually dry. I do, as you can see on this braid, there is still a lot of conditioner in the hair, which is okay. Um, I did go over it with the oil. As you can see on this side, it's not as white. I do believe it's because I was a little bit more patient with oil in my hair on this side. I got a little bit lazy on this side. Also on this side, my hair was a little bit drier when I applied the Cantu, which is also making it look a little bit more white. But either way, once the hair is completely dry, the whiteness will go away. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and put a headscarf on and rock these two braids probably tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, once my hair is fully, I mean by Wednesday, once my hair is fully dry, I'll probably braid it up and drop it down for some cramps or, you know, just kind of keep the braid thing going at least for the next couple of days or even weeks until I can get my hair officially done. Again, thank you so very much for watching. This is my hair regimen. If you have anything that you wanted to add or any comments, go ahead and put it in the in the comment box below. Um, any questions about my dress, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what's going on, what you use, what you don't use, what you like, what you don't like. Again, this is your girl T coming at you guys with a hair regimen video. I love my locks. Be you. Stay amazing. Peace out.